Um, thank you everyone for joining for our Purple WRT meeting. Uh, as always, these meetings are recorded so we can post them uh, on YouTube for other people to uh, watch after the fact. Um, uh, so uh, let's, just, let's just get started. Um, our agenda is kind of our standard agenda, uh, introductions, board forum status from myself and other parties, uh, funding OpenWRT projects, uh, regulatory update, OpenWRT summit, and any other topics proposed. Um, so no need for introductions because we know everyone here. Uh, board farm status. Uh, I have been, I uh, yesterday got, um, got the board farm uh, connected fully finally. Um, and it works, it seems to work uh, running as a lim on, under limited users for the LAN and the WAN. I haven't done very much testing, but it connects. So that's a good start. Um, we will see if that continues. Uh, I don't necessarily like the way that it's handled right now. I think it's kind of messy and not exactly the most secure. Uh, but as a first uh, attempt, I think it's a I think it's a good start. Uh, it's more secure than if you're running as root at the very least. Um, so uh, I um, I also uh, got some of the information on the power switch from. Uh, oh, good. Imagination folks are joining. Uh, I got some information on the power switch from Mike and uh, and Matthew, uh, and or Matt, and they. And so I have that added now as well. So that is uh, that should be working. Uh, I don't know if there's anything, any updates from anyone else on on board farm. Oh. Hey there. Okay, uh, Hauke, did you get a chance to to try that uh, fix I provided for the local serial? No, sorry, I haven't tried it yet. No, uh, no problem. It, it seems to work. Uh, it works for me. I obviously it'd be good to see if it works for other people, uh, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, so, seems to be pretty good. Is there anyone from uh, Imagination any update on on their board farm work? Uh, hi, Eric. It's Anton here. Uh, hey there. Hey there. I don't have Paul with me, but uh, I do have um, uh, Richard Hudson, who's hopefully going to join me shortly. Uh, who's keen to uh, to join the call today? But uh, Paul is, uh, I think, the main contact with respect to your question. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Well, All right, well if uh, we have some update, we'll uh, we'll we'll hear from that. Uh, on funding open WRT projects. Uh, the I uh, sent over a a new draft of the uh, purple um, uh, software support proposal or program proposal. Uh, I sent it over to uh, Kathy and Art and and David, and I'll be sending out a link um, to it to get feedback from the community uh, on the mailing list, and I'll probably send it to a couple other mailing, a uh, couple other other of the OpenWRT mailing list. Uh, the I'll just summarize kind of the the key features of it is that the um, Purple and uh, the the Purple Technical Steering Committee, along with the Purple WRT PEG, are going to kind of set themes. Um, and the, of particular types of uh, of of types of projects we we would like to fund, um, and they're not going to be super specific, but they're not going to be hopefully not too specific, but uh, they're going to be uh, they're not going to be totally open ended. Uh, and then from there, we're going to have uh, the community provide proposals based upon those themes, and then our provide ideas of projects that could get funded. And then have proposals for people who want to actually implement those projects, and they would then have some sort of uh, um, sense of of how much it's going to cost, and how long it's going to take, and and how they intend on implementing that. And uh, that would go through a process of of approval from the uh, from key members of the 
OpenWRT community. Um, it's an evaluation committee that I'm, we would like to recruit key, uh, members of the community and also through uh, Purple, uh, through the TSC and then potentially the board of directors. So we will uh, get feedback on that and then uh, hopefully we can, we can uh, find any, any loose ends and, and move forward with that. Any thoughts? Uh, yes. Um, have you talked to the, um, what, what is the opinion of the other purple members? Uh, imagination, could you please mute? <laughs> mute. Uh, what's the thought of the other purple members? Do they have uh, some ideas what they want to, want to fund or do they um, also have some ideas? Um, I haven't heard anything, uh, a, a lot of it. I know you mentioned Lantique was interested and I know Art was looking, um, the, the folks at, uh, H, who from HGI were very interested in some particular types of, of projects, re, uh, related to that. Um, and, uh, that have kind of come up a couple times. So, yeah, those are, those are the carrier grade features that, yeah. uh, you know, the major operators want to bring in. So one theme area that I thought of would be in exactly that carrier grade features. We could get the uh, inputs from the major carriers, and then uh, you know put that out to the uh, community for their assessment, and then we could prioritize that. So for me, that was one of the biggest uh, areas of possibility. Yeah, so I'm also interested in the feature request from the carriers. They are probably overlapping with our request. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Richard Hudson from Imagination. I don't know if you've got any feedback on this. Are we, are we generating feedback? Uh, we will. We will. Uh, we haven't. I haven't sent it out yet. But um, I mean, Art and, uh, and David have seen it, as well as Kathy. And then, uh, you know, people from Imagining are more than welcome to to you know comment on that as a member, obviously. Um, and I give us raise, some feedback. Yeah, I wanted to raise the subject of, I think I saw a proposal for TR69 a week or so ago. Um, what I wanted to do is mention that Imagination has got um, an elderly member only stack that we were considering, you know, considering maybe could be part of the OMWRT project. And in which case, one of the interesting, from a carrier perspective, one of the interesting um, extensions to that would be having elderly on term over, over SMS. So rather than, rather than going to TR69, go, go the uh, OMA elderly on term route and um, yeah, the uh, SMS. So that'd be interesting to get, you know, what carrier feedback on that would be. Can, can you spell that out, what you're describing? I didn't quite catch that. Oh, so um, it's LWM2M. It's a standard from the Open Mobile Alliance. Okay. It's around device management. So it's targeted really at constrained devices, although it can be used in general fashion. And it's something that Imagination have been um, developing over the last sort of nine months. And we, um, yeah, so we, we, have, we have done some testing actually against Verizon as well. Um, so, it's something I think that would be quite interesting from an open WRT perspective and it could be well appealing to, to a carrier type um, companies. Um, so one of the projects I was thinking of is if we could get that into open WRT and have that running over SMS, then that might well appeal to carriers. Yeah, that, that, that definitely sounds good. I don't, I don't know enough about that area to say other way. Would you, like way. To, um, would you like me to sort of like write something up? Sure, definitely. Sure. So I think it, this, um, this management framework, it should be built that we can uh, use different technologies um, behind it. So because we have this tier 69, it's uh, really big in the telco business when you want to, 
I think all the DSL routers are supporting it because all telcos are using it. Um, but when you are on the fiber GPON market, you have something else. Um, cable also uses different technology, and there are some other technologies coming up, like um, Imagination just told. Um, so I think it may make sense to have it. Uh, Tier 69 is one thing, but also make it possible to extend it to different technologies for remote management in the enterprise environment. Definitely. I think that sounds like a, like a really good idea. It's always good to, to reuse. I wonder, um, I'm not, you know, I, I don't know enough about these technologies to know, but I wonder how much overlap there is in uh, the actual way they do management, or is it is it going to be that they have to be totally different stacks? Ideally, they, they we could reuse, uh, at the very least, interfaces or something, but um, yeah. yeah no, I think you'll find they are, they are different stacks. Um, LWM to M runs over a co-app UDP DTLS type um, stack, whereas I believe TR69 very much um, TCP TLS. Okay. okay. I believe I believe it might even I can't sure run under HTTP or not. I don't think it's under HTTP. I can't remember now. But yeah, I mean, there's that, there, will, there will be different implementations. Okay, that okay. makes sense. That makes sense. If we can if find we can overlap, find that'd be great. Uh, but um, uh, if we can't, we can't. Um, but yeah, definitely. Awesome. I mean, the whole, the whole, one of the whole benefits of the package management of OpenWT is you can select the package that you need or that you want. So, you know, even if different right now, you know, if there's, if there's code available, if there's a stack for that, we should take it in as one of the, one of several options. And then over time, hopefully we see more convergence, um, you know, yeah. to better approaches. Definitely, I, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, we we have a stack. We've got a stack pretty much ready, ready to go. So it's something that we can look at, um, yeah, contributing relatively soon, I thought. Awesome. That's awesome. great. That's great. Yeah. When you say ready to go, do you mean both uh, technically and license-wise, like to be opened and and integrated? I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be an evolving um, implementation, but we have done an element of testing uh, with other OMA members, and we feel as though it's, you know, it's kind of phase one is is pretty much there. Um, in terms of licensing, I think we've, we've agreed to go um, a three calls BSD, so I think, you know, I think that's, that's pretty friendly to hopefully um, herbal. Yeah, that sounds fine. Again, encouraging members, member companies, and the community to you know submit ideas that uh, you can propose an idea and be the implementer. It doesn't have to be different people. You know, you can say, "Hey, we want to do this," and then you propose the solution, and you know, you can be funded, or you can propose an idea and say, "Hey, we need help with the implementation or the integration," and somebody else could help with that, or we need help with testing. Uh, so, so the funding could you know you decide what you need to fund this thing to make it really happen okay well i'll, um, I'll put some i'll put a, an email together and just send out some thoughts on that awesome that'd be great, oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay. all right um we can move on to our regulatory update. Uh, I don't really have much. Doesn't seem to have been much that have ha has happened in the last week. Um, I know Dave Tot had an, had a, a a meeting with some folks who are interested in, in the topic. Uh, just a an online call. I wasn't able to make it, but um, doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on this week. Uh, Open WRT Summit. I haven't sent out the 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 uh, planning committee. Uh, email. I have to do that. I'll probably have to do that today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, those are. It's nothing really there. And uh, any other topics or anything that we haven't covered that folks would like to discuss? Yeah. 
introduce the argument, I just wanted to let everyone know that Kathy and I will all be at the HGF meeting next week. We're actually holding a mini panel session on the community collaboration around the WRT. And we're also going to be meeting with the various parties there. So that should be a session, and we're looking forward to talking about the carriers and breaks. The idea of doing it when a group is being one of the community. I'm not sure if everyone heard that. I, Arts, uh, your uh, your uh, microphone was cutting in and out. But anyways, the uh, Art I think was mentioning that Kathy and Imri and himself were going to be at the HGI meeting in Italy. I think said next week, and it uh, they're going to be talking about the uh, the collaboration between community and uh, industry and uh, and what and uh, things in that area. Um, Kathy, you want to comment any more on that, or did yeah. I? Yeah, yeah, and exactly, and 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 show the, you know, have Emory there to to describe. Okay, this is the collaboration types, the, the way we need to collaborate in order to bring in these carrier grade features in order to make this uh, a continuing success between the, the community and industry. So describe that, how that works. Kathy, uh, um, I was on an, an email thread. Um, and you had mentioned like some like bullet points of how collaboration works best between open source communities and companies. Would that be something you could you could uh, send out to the list? Because I thought that you you summarized it perfectly. Um, uh, sure, yeah. I can also put it on the wiki. Yeah, um, any either way. Okay. Is good. Uh, uh, sure. That it'd also be great if you, you know, I just thought of this. Would you be willing to do a Purple Works post on that? Sure. <laughs> not to not to put too much on you, but that seemed it was. I thought I read it, and I'm like, that is 100% perfect. I thought. Yeah, yeah, I I can do that. I have a, a certain amount of flexibility. I don't have to be playing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. All right. Yeah, no, I think from the imagination point of view, that, that, yeah, that would be, that'd be quite interesting, actually, to uh, we're, we're trying to get more and more into that sort of open source sort of community and the collaboration. So, yeah, quite, quite keen to see your Awesome. Well, uh, hopefully, uh, Hopefully we can get that Kathy and get that out in, in the near future and, and, and you can see it. But yeah, I think, I think it'll be a really interesting topic. Um, Anything else uh, folks want to talk about? All right. Well, uh, thank you everyone for coming. Our next meeting is uh, same time next week. Uh, let me see what day that is. Uh, the 10th. So uh, look forward to seeing everyone there. And, and please, uh, you know, if you have any topics that, that you think we should discuss in, in the future, please don't hesitate to, to email me ahead of the meeting or email into the list. And it, it'd be great to, uh, great to discuss uh, anything that's, that's relevant. So thanks everyone for coming. Thanks, Eric. Yep. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Yes. Bye. Cheers. Yeah.